Well, good afternoon. It's Saturday, April the 23rd. It's uh, 11.50 in the morning. It's a beautiful, beautiful day here on this little Southern California chunk of sand. And uh, just wanted to show you guys, this, this is a pretty a, a amazing little little piece of beach here. Yeah. <laughs> it ain't no beach. I'm in the desert, lads. In Alaska, beautiful part of the desert. This is the Anza Borrego Desert. And I'm doing a whole different kind of hunt than what a whole different kind of a hunt than what I usually do. I've got my uh, I got my little got my little uh, AT Pro out. And I'm hunting and Hunting in uh, custom mode, got everything blocked out except for anything above 40. And I'm just picking up all kinds of little signals out here. I come out here once a year with a bunch of guys and we, 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 we camp out here in a little spot. And I haven't, um, and, I, and I very often will bring my detector out here, but I, uh, I haven't, um, haven't, done any haven't done any videoing. I thought I'd, thought I'd do that for you guys. Give you a little idea of what it's like out here in the California desert. And I can tell you that it's hot. There's a little bit of a breeze, so it's not, uh, it's not too bad. There's lizards running all over the place next to me here. Uh, but it's really nice. Very pretty, pre pretty place. These are... Uh, these cactus that you're looking at right here are, are choya, and they are deadly. They'll catch on to you regardless. They, they 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 call them jumping choya because it just seems like they 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 <laughs> they attach to you even if you're far away from them. And the whole desert is just screaming with this thing. It's all over the place. We're near a place called Acatil, um in Southern California. And, um, oh, hello. Yeah, getting oh, just a ton of these. These are kind of the nemesis. They're just completely throughout this whole place. So, anyway, that's saying Ocotillo is a cactus. It grows out here. It's a long, spindly cactus, and they—it's uh, actually known as the uh, the Devil's Coach Whip. It's kind of interesting. I'll, if I find one, I'll show you a picture of it. There's a lot of them out here. Anyway, I'll get back to you if I find anything significant. That's ringing about 50, 56, 50 in that in that general vicinity. That so far has been uh, has turned out to be a pieces of lead um, bullets. I have a whole bunch of stuff, and I'm going to show you at the wrap up that is just pretty much all ammunition. So I've got it on um, on uh, Iron Audio too, so you can hear the, all the iron. That's all iron, all nails and crap. And then once in a while, I'll pick up this little tone. And what do we got here? We got. there like I said 10 to 22 shells lots and lots of them okay so out here is a tough place to make a living or to be living <clears throat> for pretty much anything that's alive it's just it's just nothing but dry hot desiccated stuff and anything that lives out here man has to really 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 have to really try hard to uh, to stay alive but look, look at this check this out look at this little guy isn't that pretty nice little flower hmm. tiny really tiny and he's just 
barely hanging on here. There's, I mean, there's no water. I mean, there's got to be some water, I guess, otherwise you wouldn't be alive. But uh, and that's something. Okay. Um, that's new. It's a uh, 38 special. Hmm. This is called a wait a minute bush. I don't know what the actual name of it is, but um, the reason it's called that is because when you walk past this damn thing, if you get even close to it, it grabs a hold of you and it pulls you right back. It has its its spines are kind of heading heading in the wrong its thorns are kind of heading in the wrong direction so that when you hit it it actually grabs a hold of you. Interesting. Look at that, look at that. <laughs> Thus, wait a minute. Cool, eh? Shotgun shell. Again, it's probably pretty old. Been around for a while. Also, see, the thing about the desert is that there's no moisture out here to um, to uh, make things rust and go away. It's it's pretty a uh, pretty good place to keep things dry. In fact, that's why they keep airplanes out in the desert. It's so, so they'll they'll last forever. It kind of preserves them. So the stuff that comes out of the ground is um, pretty well preserved. Look at that one. That is a big one. Hmm. It says, yeah, I don't know what it says. Well, I think that this critter's had a bad day. He's been gnawed on. Hmm. Okay, there it is. That's the devil's coach whip. And if you look far enough up behind it, you can see the uh, the wind turbine down the valley. There's a little town down there called Ocotillo. And this cactus is an Ocotillo cactus. That's how the town got its name. Look at that, man. <laughs> that could hurt. Man, there's a lot of them out here. It looks like they're just kind of, just maybe just now coming out of bloom or, or something. But an interesting plant. That is an interesting chunk of valley. That's kind of cool too. Let's, let's see if we can zip in here a little bit. Maybe get a little better idea of what I'm looking at here. Lots of wind energy. And they built these things just outside, kind of in and around that little town down there. I don't think the people in the little town like that. So I understand they can be kind of noisy, those big old turbines. Anyway, that's how, that's the, that's the, uh, the way of the future though, I'm thinking. So, anyway. Chunk of pottery sharp. It's kind of cool. You can tell because it has that. So it's, it's 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 fired. You know, it's been it's been baked. Huh. Somebody's ancient fingers touched that. That's just really. It's really sobering. Pretty cool. Okay. Seventy-seven. That's a really good signal because it could be pretty deep too. Let's see what we got. Let's pick it up with a pinpointer. 
Oh yeah. I think it's probably, probably pretty big. No, it's not that big. What is it? Oh, <laughs> you see, we're not immune, even out, even even out here. Okay. What do you say we get this off the desert, Keithy? <laughs> okay, listen to this. This is iron. All iron. And if you get close to it, if you get down close to it, you can see what it is. Why it's iron. There's about a million frickin' nails out here. And I'm looking at them, and they look like they're probably pallet nails. They have that twisted look, into them, look, look to them. Yeah. And they're going to last for a long time out here, because like I said, th things just don't rust up and go away out here. Hmm. And there's too many of them for me to pick up and take home, so I'm afraid you're going to have to stay here, guys. 50, 52. That would ordinarily be a nickel on the beach. Or anywhere else. What is it? Hmm. Yeah. Here's an old high base shotgun shell. How about that? Yeah, they sound a lot like nickels. <laughs> and I'm not apt to find a gold ring out here. Or a nickel, for that matter, I guess. Anyhow, there it is. Well, this ring up in the high 40s. If I was back east, in, in um, Civil War land, <laughs> I'd be jumping up and down right now. <laughs> but I've got a, I got a stinking hunch. This is pretty new, pretty, pretty, pretty new stuff here. Pretty new ammunition. Hmm. Anyway, look at the size of that bugger. Hmm. What the hell that was? It's big. Whatever it was, it was big. I think that's going to be about the last, last target that I'm going to show you. It's hot out here. The stuff I'm getting is just not really worth much. So I'll, um, I'll see you guys at the wrap-up. <laughs> so this is our little encampment. This is where we stay. Yeah. Usually a couple of days, a few days in April. Yeah, busy little place. It's fun. Come out Thursday and go home Sunday. And um, have some really, really, really nice moments. Just about everybody from every walk of life comes out here. We have, we have doctors and lawyers and blue collar folks, everybody, you know, just a nice mix. Anyway, I'm going back. I got to get out of this heat. Where, where we are in, in Dos Cabezas, that's the, those are the two heads up there, Dos Cabezas. Right down below, there's actually a natural spring. It's a wildlife watering spring. And it, uh, it's kind of cool. It's kind of nifty. It's got all this, all this growth in here is due to the fact that there's a natural water source that comes down out of those mountains somewhere. And they used to, they used to, they used to save this water, they used to uh, keep it, um, used to compile it in a reservoir up here somewhere and pipe it through this pipe right here 
all the way the hell down to the railroad tracks that are about three or four miles, maybe 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 five miles away, way down below. And if you've ever seen the seen the, the film The Impossible Railroad, that's the that's the, those are the tracks out there out out there in the distance. But the spring looks like this. The pipe runs back up into the mountains there somewhere. It comes down here. And this goes into this nice little reservoir. And it's a, like it says, it's a wildlife watering spring. Nice clear water. Nice and clean. Kind of neat, out here in the middle of the desert. We like it. Okay, we got to wrap up. I want to go ahead and do it in the back of the car. Sorry I don't have the blue towel. <laughs> it's Saturday, April 23rd. It's about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, gonna be leaving, uh, leaving uh, out of here tomorrow morning early. I didn't want to have to carry all this crap with me, so or, uh, I might carry it with me, but I'll um, I'll just throw the trash away and um, maybe put the rest of the stuff. But my, uh, one of the guys here has a little treasure box that he keeps all this stuff in, so I'll just give it to him. But anyway, this is what I got: a bunch of trash. These, look, look at these pull tabs. These are all beaver tails. They've been out here for a little while. Every one of them. Never seen so many beaver tails. It's kind of cool. Uh, horseshoe nail, I think. Pretty sure. A little piece of a light bulb, and um, you saw this thing. A couple pieces of iron that rang that rang low because they were because they're they're disc shaped. And then we got these guys. These are all these are all shell casings from um, like some kind of pistol. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure what the, what the caliber is. This is a 45. The rest of them are, could be probably 38 or something. But look at all these all these shell casings. A lot of, a lot of 22 casings. Um, these are the these are the, the the bullets. The actual the actual bullet that I found. This is the one that's most interesting to me. I don't know what the hell it is. But um, somebody is sure to sure someone is sure to tell me. Little 22 rounds. So the, the, these things are all they just drive you crazy out there. There's so much iron in this area. That uh, pulling these little things out of the out of the iron-infested ground is pretty tough to do. Anyway, yeah, these are all just spent. These these are all just uh, bullets that that hit things and you know, hit rocks and stuff out there. <coughs> little pieces of little fragments of, of, of bullets, casings, fragments. Kind of cool. All dead. And shotgun shells. We got a bunch. Um, don't know if any of them are valuable or if any of them are, are, are rare or whatever. There, there's, um, there's a lot of them. <laughs> kind of cool. Some of them are bound to be old. And full-size shell casings. I actually did find some some interesting shell casings. I don't know what the hell these are either, but uh, they're big. They're, I somebody said this is a 40 caliber. I don't know. Great, humongous damn bullet. And then a few, uh, few of the rounds. This one, is, this guy here is still alive. There's no, it hasn't been fired. Uh, that one has been. I just put the, I just put the bullet back in it. And don't know what this caliber is. That's an interesting thing. It looks like it's a 20, 22 caliber on the outside, but this next down to something tiny, tinier. And look at that. I even found some coins. Found some clad. Got 21 cents in clad. It's all modern stuff. So that's what you find in the desert, at least this, at least in this part of the desert. Just lots and lots of ammunition. Folks were shooting out here. Look at these things. This is kind of cool. It's some kind of a rivet. It's probably some kind of tack or something. But it's uh, they're, they're copper. It's a copper-headed rivet, and it goes through a little drove in the back. Some kind of a little, it's a little, little washer in the back, and then it's been peened over. So I don't know what it is. Like I said, some kind of tack, I would suspect. And the same thing with this. It's a, it's a broken one. Kind of cool. A little, um, little grommet, old grommet made out of copper. So anyway, that's all I got. I'll see you guys back on the beach next week sometime. Everybody have a great day. Be safe out there. Happy hunting, and thanks again for watching. <laughs>